Right, this video is to show you how to time up the Lister D Magneto. Now, we're not talking about engine timing, we're talking about the actual timing of the Magneto rotor in here with the points. And it's probably best if I just uh, show you what I'm talking about because a lot of people think their Magneto is gone, the coil's blown or the condenser's gone, there's actually nothing wrong with it, the Magneto isn't in time with itself. Now let me just uh, demonstrate. If you take the top off, you just loosen these two screws and the Bakelite cover comes off. Now in here, you've got the main ignition coil there, and that's the actual terminal where the spark comes from. There's the main ignition coil and there's the condenser. And as you all know, the points are in the back here. And I've removed the cover from the points already. Now. If I, I'll just turn the crankshaft, so I'm turning the crankshaft clockwise and I'm just going to get it to the point where the contact brokers just start to open which is obviously somewhere near or just before top dead centre. Now what you need to look at is the rotor in here and you'll see that the rotor has a solid metal piece and then as you turn it, there's a bit of a gap and another solid metal piece and then a gap again. Now, what you've got to make sure is that at the moment that the points are opening, this gap here is just in a vertical position. That's it. There's a gap that side and a gap this side and the solid metal piece is at the top. So let's just move it again. I'll just get it to the moment when the point's just open, which is a few degrees before top dead centre. Let's get it to there. That, this is the point when the engine's actually firing and you'll see that the metal piece is fully across the gap there. And that's the actual internal timing of the magneto and it's critical because if that armature there isn't fully vertical at the moment the points open you will get a really naff weak spark. And I should say that the clockwise magneto and the anti-clockwise magneto are timed slightly differently. So although the engine might run the, the spark will be very weak so bear in mind they have an arrow on the front behind the sprocket to tell you if it's a clockwise or anti-clockwise magneto or not. This one actually started life as an anti-clockwise magneto and I've retimed it for this clockwise engine. So that's something to look out for. If you suspect your coil or your condenser they may be fine but check that the points are opening just as the magneto armature just quite it's called a null point um, and in simple terms it's the position where the magneto rotor is making the most energy let me see you turning it clockwise and you can see the difference between the gap in the rotor there and the solid piece there and you need the solid piece across the gap that you can see just underneath the ignition coil that should be timed up perfectly now. Now just to show you the sort of spark you should be getting if the magneto is timed properly, I've taken the spark plug out so the engine will be easy to spin over and just turn in the crankshaft slowly. I hope that that spark's coming out on the camera. We're only turning the crank very slowly and we're getting a good healthy spark about five or six millimeters long and that's just uh, just at hand cranking speed just spinning the flywheel by hand and that's a magneto giving a good spark I should say that you shouldn't spin the engine if the spark has nowhere to jump because you might overload the coil there is a spark gap inside the cap here to relieve the energy it can jump internally but uh, don't rely on that being set properly so always make sure the spark's got somewhere to go before you turn the engine 
and uh, that's the sort of spark you should get from a D-type magneto if it's set properly. I hope that spark's coming out on the camera. It's a nice, big, fat, healthy blue spark, which is what you're after.